Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of Matchbox Marks Diecast Restorations. So this project, I'm taking on the old regular wheel Matchbox Jeep. Now, as you can see, I've got uh, quite a little hodgepodge of Jeeps here. I've got one without an interior, and I've got two without the front window frame. And a lot of tires missing. So what I'm going to do with this Jeep is I'm going to restore one to its an original glory and then I'm going to take the other one and use it for parts and I'm going to take the third one, the one that I have left over, I'm going to make it like a 4x4 Jeep I think, kind of custom it out. Or I might get brave and try and fabricate a window frame. I'm not too sure yet what I'm going to do so let's take a look at this. So here we go. We've got the Made in England by Lesney Matchbox Series number 72 Jeep. Real simple. Uh, this is kind of the equivalent of like the Jeep Wranglers or the Rubicons or something like that. So anyway, so stay tuned and I'm going to take these bad boys apart. Alrighty. Finally got my buddy to take a little break from his quarantine here to come deliver these Jeeps. So, as you can see, these Jeeps are definitely not drivable. And over here at Matchbox Marks Diecast Restorations, we believe in safety. Safety's first. So, let's offload these and see what they've got. Alright. And, alright, buddy. Off you go. I need to think of a name for my driver. Alright, so let's see what we've got here. So, we've got three Jeeps. A regular wheel. Uh, I don't know, like I say, Matchbox back in the day, they had good intentions when they put these wheels on, but with kids playing with them, uh, they don't last too long with them. So anyway, let's, uh, let's see what we've got here. My buddy Juan over at Matchbox Resurrection, he did one of these Jeeps and he knocked it out of the park and he actually fabricated one of these windshields. And I'll tell you one thing, it looked like it just came out of the showroom floor, so... Juan, way to go with that, let me tell you. I don't know if I can copy that. So, all right, let's take this apart. So there we go. Got the shell, really easy unit. One post in the back. It's pretty teeny tiny. So I don't know if I'll be able to put a screw in there or not. All right, so there's that. And this one does have some tires with it. I'm gonna just take them off. Now, a while ago, I did a fleet of the Alvis stalwarts, and I used O-rings as tires, and they actually look very, very similar. There we go. All right, so we've got a flat black chassis and the yellow hubs. Don't know what I'm going to do with those hubs yet. So there's the first one. And let's get the second one out here. Chassis, and this one has an interior. Let's see here. There we go. Oh, I just popped it at the camera. So a little two seater. There we go, and it's missing. You can see where it got broken off. So I am undecided what to do. If I'm going to try to make a window frame, I think I'm going to try. Uh, it's going to be difficult for me. And then here, got the other one. This one happens to have a spare tire. So I'll take that off. And then here's the uh, interior and the chassis. All right. So there we have it. There's all the pieces. Uh, I probably will take off the hubs. Uh, my drill press... Uh, tool that I've been using for the axles has not been very good, so I need to redesign it. So, All right, let's go. Project Jeep. Stay tuned. All right, so I got all the Jeeps completely apart. Took me a little bit to do the axles and the hubs. Uh, two of the axles are pretty rusty, as you can see. So, and sometimes I do scuff up the hubs. But luckily, we can turn them around, put the good side out and the bad side in. 
And this was the uh, one chassis that's really, really corroded that had the rusty axles. And the other ones are not in too bad a shape. And on a good note, the interiors both have their hooks and they're in pretty decent shape. Alright, so stay tuned. Alright, here's an update on the window for the little Jeep. So what I did was I took my micrometer and I basically... Let me see here. Here we go. If you don't have one of these and you do this a wonderful hobby, you need to get one. So what I do is, is I'll just measure the width, which is roughly 24.89. I've already done it, so it's pretty exact. And then I'll do a line, and then I'll do the sides, and then I'll connect them. Now, uh, Juan over at Matchbox Resurrection, actually, if I'm uh, not mistaken, he used a paper clip. And his turned out pretty phenomenal. So I'm going to use styrene on mine since it's really just for display purposes and it's not going to be an actual working window. And uh, so I'm going to see if I have any luck in, uh, in doing it. So, all right, so stay tuned and I will film the progress as I do it. All right, stay tuned. All right, so here's the update on the window. Um, I went and got all the measurements, so if you put it up to it, it's pretty close. So hopefully I can attach it with a little glue and it'll be just like brand new. So, all right, stay tuned. All right, so here's an update on the Jeeps. Uh, I'll tell you one thing, the paint on these was not easy to get off. Uh, I'm having a really hard time either with my citrus strip lately or the models. But anyway, here are the three Jeeps. They all shined up pretty good. And here's my window. So obviously I'm going to wash them tonight in soap and water. And I'm going to glue that on. And then uh, primer it. So hopefully uh, you won't be able to tell the difference if it's replaced or not. Now, let's uh, check out some of the detail on this Jeep. That was, it's pretty cool when you actually do all the little uh, scraping and getting all the paint out. You really get to see the detail. So let me show you on the back here. Let me get it on the light. And you can see the word Jeep there. Of course, when you look up really close, I didn't get 100% of the paint, but I got enough. So there's that, and I didn't notice when I was taking it apart on the base, there's like little step thingies, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna have to treat that one a little bit more. Clean it up, let me get one that's cleaner. There we go. It's kind of a little step side. So I'm going to probably paint that chrome, obviously not on the resto, on the customs, because one of these is going to be a custom. And what I also like about it is, if you look really close in there, you can see the speedometer, and it's got little uh, tick marks in there. Right there. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, what else we got here? There's some good detail on this thing. And, of course, the front end. Now, all my friends across the pond, I have a question. So here in America, it's a Jeep thing. If you're, if you're driving in one of these, like, Jeep Wranglers and you're passing another Jeep Wrangler, you do the old one-finger wave or you, you're hand doesn't leave the steering wheel and you just kind of like give the wave uh it's a jeep thing here and i wonder if that is the same in other countries um it's pretty funny but however if you have another kind of jeep it, you don't do it it's kind of like a jeep wrangler jeep rubicon thing so anyway so all right so let me uh, get these things washed up with some soap and water and then uh put a nice coat of primer on them stay tuned 
All right, so here are the Jeeps, well, one of them anyway. Got a nice coat of primer on there. There we go. Cameras are funny. You gotta have something in the background for them to focus, otherwise they get really confused. So anyway, all right. We'll put a coat of paint on these and then uh, call it good. Stay tuned. All right, so here's all the pieces to the Jeep, or Jeeps, I should say. And this one, like I say, I wanted to do a custom. I still got to do some detailing on it so before the final reveal. So anyway, here's the other ones. Did a resto. You can tell which one is the windshield, obviously, but I think it came out pretty decent. So, all right, stay tuned for the final reveal. All right, it is time for the uh, Jeep reveal. <clears throat> so uh, I took a... The old Matchbox regular wheel Jeep, like I uh, had showed previously, I have three of them. One of them didn't have an interior, so that one I decided to custom. And as you can see, I put big knobby tires on there, and and I actually got a seat. I had a spare seat laying around. I don't know what, that, what casting that one is from. So anyway, and then the other two... Uh, one of them I had to make a windshield. I think it turned out fairly decent. And for the tires, I'd use my O-rings because I didn't have any, but you really can't tell the difference. They're, uh, they're for display only, so, but anyway, they roll and they look fairly decent and that's all that counts. The two spare tires on the Jeeps are actually the original tires. Those are not my O-ring tires, so anyway, so here they are. The Jeeps. So if you like this video, hit the like button and all that good jazz and subscribe if you want. And I just really appreciate your watching. And uh, stay safe out there and I'll see you on the next one.